First of all, uh, we are trying to make them feel safe here and feel comfortable here. Uh, at the same time, uh, while they are getting to, used to their new life, uh, we are supporting them. And uh, so, for, for example, when they have to go to doctor, we are going together. When they have to go, when they when they start to school, we are the ones who make them start school. And uh, when they have any kind of problem, any kind of question, daily life, they all they are coming to us, and we are doing it together. Uh, and we are trying to make, make them a bit outgoing because it's not only about learning the language, uh, it's more about getting used to the new life here and it's really harder than I thought also. It was also for me not that easy to get used to uh, this life and we are trying to make it as easy as possible integrating to the new life and to Germany. Yeah, we are talking about pe people between, in our house, there are people between 14 and 18 and uh, most of the stuff uh, which has to be done by the parents normally uh, we are doing it and uh, yeah they're totally alone here and they're also every day messing with uh, they have to mess with so many institutions and uh, also regarding their age they cannot understand everything but they have to and we are trying our best that they get used to these new concepts and they somehow survive here and do their we are also making their paperwork and everything. First of all, their status right now, uh, it's not certain. And uh, also uh, the German legislation, uh, in, uh, there are some situations where also the state doesn't know what to do. Or for example, we are going to a doctor, they don't have one paper they need, and they say what we need this paper, that they can uh, come to us and get healed. And we say, no, we don't have this paper. Then we are thinking, sitting, okay, what should we do? How can we provide this paper? So we are also messing with the institutions. There are so many situations we also don't know what to do. So we are trying to collect the information as fast as possible. And for example, bringing, a, bringing them to the doctor. Even going to doctor, it's pretty tough. They don't have insurance yet. They don't have these insurance cards yet. How can you go to doctor without it? They don't even have identities. We are trying to make it as fast as possible that they go to doctor. The thing is, uh, also Germany didn't know that so many people would come. Yeah, they were, they were waiting for people, but they didn't know that there would be a huge flow suddenly. One day, for example, it was a Saturday. I remember so good. Suddenly, we had new five uh, new five boys. What are we gonna do? They have to go to school. Okay, then we go to um, youth welfare office. Uh, and then uh, they are subscribed to a list and then they have to wait until uh, there, is a, there is a place for them. And during this time, all the time, the boys are asking us, OK, when are we going to school? We want to go to school. It can take one, two months. And we are always the ones who, who are trying to explain them as simple as possible what's going on, that they have to wait, that it's not really anybody's fault that they cannot at that moment go to school. Uh, yeah, but for example, they cannot directly, okay, I want to start school, now I'm walking to the school and I start. It's not like that. Uh, there has to be papers filled. Uh, we, they need, the school needs certain information from them and we are trying to provide all the information they need from us. At the same time, we are trying to give information to the, uh, to the boys. I think they are really surprised uh, about the role of the woman. Uh, where they come from, the, the woman has to get married early and now they see the woman, uh, they're self-sufficient, they do everything on their own and this, I mean, they're not openly saying something but I can see sometimes, hmm, you, so you went to university, hmm, you, you can speak three languages, hmm, this is really interesting for them. This is something really new for them that women and men are equal. It is, I don't want to say anything bad, I mean, they just don't know the concept and we have to get them used to the fact that here things are different. We are coming to the self-sufficiency <laughs> point. Um, yeah, it's also, it's also hard for us to find this uh, balance between rules and the freedom because we don't want to load them uh, with so much rules but they need to learn certain stuff, for example, hygiene problem, uh, cleaning, cooking on their own, of course they don't cook all their own, but that they slowly, slowly uh, 
be able to do it without their parents, without their mother, father, without their sisters. We are trying to slowly, slowly show them how it works when you live totally alone, actually, <laughs> because probably they will live alone. So.